Hey everybody, Dale here. In this little video, short little video, I got to do a hard drive replacement in this HP laptop. The hard drive's bad. I've already confirmed that. It's not a real high-end laptop by any means, but we're going to replace it with a brand new solid-state 250 gigabyte hard drive. Make uh, make this thing faster than when it was when it was new. So let's go ahead and dig right in here. When you're all done with the video, if you don't mind clicking on subscribe, I would certainly appreciate it. So on these, we got to pop up these little rubber feet that they have here because there's a screw underneath each one of these right in the corner there. This one in the back here is already missing, so you can see there's a, there's a screw right there. So I'm going to open that up, or get the screws out at least. You see, I'm just going to carefully take a nice sharp little tip blade here, roll, roll that back there to get to the screw. Not to take it all the way off. Screw out of there. Push that back down. You want to pop the battery out, take the battery out here real quick. Ah. Then we got two screws along the, got a screw here and a screw here underneath the battery. And these screws are all the same length, so it doesn't matter what goes back where, as long as you get them all back in. I'm going to pop out the CD-ROM drive. And get, get that out of the way. Oops, sorry, you did that one. You can see when you peel these back, the screws right underneath there. Alright. So that's all the screws. Now on these, basically the way it separates is the um, where the I can't see that. Where the black meets the red, this little seam right along the edge here where the red meets the black, we've got to separate it, get it started here. You can use a little plastic spudger tool like this, but I personally like to get them started using my trusty fingernail. <laughs> Just get it off the edge here. Get that in there and then run your tool along the front leading edge there. Careful how far you go in. You don't want to damage any speakers. Just gently kind of work it up. Too big a hurry doing this, you just gotta kinda work it around here. You can see how I'm starting to get it to come up here little by little. My hard drive is course, of course, is right there. Be careful of the speakers.
there with a little bit of adjusting it comes right off and here's the bad hard drive we're going to take out and put the solid state in there once I get the hard drive back in there we're going to just basically do a fresh and clean install the Windows 10 1809 edition we'll put these little rubber guys back on there there but as you can see when you poke tools in here you got to be careful because you can see the the, the the speakers right in the front you poke a tool in there too far and you can damage those so just got one little screw that we took out there to, for the hard drive Hard drive comes out. We're going to take this little mounting bracket off right here. Put it on the new solid state drive. Now, like I said, this isn't a real high end laptop, but adding the solid state drive to it is going to make a huge difference. Just two screws to hold this on. Bracket back on, same way we took it off the other one. Okay, bring this back up here. I'm going to put the little screw back in it. Nothing worse than getting the laptop put all back together and you forgot to put one little screw in. So you just have to take your time and check everything as you go. Alright, so we're going to put the bottom cover back on. Snap it back on along the edge here where the CD-ROM drive opening is. Like the sound of that click. So now I'm just going to put the screws back in it. Actually, I'm going to do the battery first. Flip our little rubber feet back up again. Put the screws back in. If those little rubber feet don't go back on and stay down, you can just put a little tiny speck of super glue on there and press it back down and you'll be all set to go. But usually there's enough sticky tape left on there where you won't have any problems. Slide our CD-ROM drive back in there, just like, just like that.
I know my hand's kind of in the way here, but. One more screw and that's it. Oop, I already did that one. My bad. Oh. Now when this lap tap came in, it was missing one of the little rubber feet here, but I think I got one in the back and put a brand new one on there for him. Put the battery back in. Lock it down. There, now we're going to use our Windows 10 installation USB drive here to do a clean install of Windows 10 1809 edition. It'll be just like, well, better than new. So I hope that video was helpful. I appreciate watching. And again, if you could click on subscribe, I would appreciate it. And thanks a lot for watching.